Um, how do you transition and move through these different centers of awareness without doing anything but changing your awareness? That is the motor act. We often think of sensation as different than motor, but awareness itself is a motor act in the sense that we would say that is a pre-sensory motor focus. It's like um, a dog lifting its ears to hear something. You're, you're doing a motor act to change your focus, and then you receive that information. There are cars going around down the street, but we may not be focused on them, so we don't hear them. But then if we said, okay, let's hear whatever noise is coming in from outside of the building, we would have a motor act that changes our focus, but then we receive different information. So changing your focus, changing your awareness, how does that change your movement or your stillness? Up and down between these bodies these areas of the spine. So when you get up to the pancreas and you get up to the solar plexus, how do you drop it back down through the glands to the perineal body and to your perineum? So without even moving, you find a posture. Very often people will say, work a posture. Have you ever hear that? Get on a posture, stay there, work it. What if you change your awareness while you're in that posture? What if working it is just finding a different focus from which to feel that posture instead of just looking at your alignment? I'm not saying don't, don't look at the alignment. We've done. We spent uh, two months looking at alignment, and we'll spend more with muscles. But this isn't about the alignment of the joints. It's about an alignment of the centers of your spine. And the glands and consciousness.